All right, hi, we're gonna do another video today. Um, making music in a major key, and we're gonna use C as our major. When you see my thumb in the left hand, I'm just following octaves in my left hand. So wherever my thumb is, my pinky is replicating on the lower side. So here's a C major chord over a C. Now if I just move that chord up to a D minor over C, and then up again, and again, and again, and again, and I roll it down. Pretty. I can go out of order. By keeping that root in C, it keeps my tonal center the same, so all this stuff is just happening over it. I'm stepping on the pedal, as you can hear, if I step off, it goes away and everything's very staccato, but if I step on the pedal a little bit, I can actually do this with just two fingers. Oh, a little journey coming in there. Remember, the part of your brain that sings is the part of your brain that plays. So when I go, ba, 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 da, 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 I'm playing a melody, and I'm singing it, and I'm playing it at the same time. And every melody has percussion to it. So if I go bum ba dun da dun da 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 or ba 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 bum ba 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 everything is percussive. So even if I'm playing legato, going back to that C, I'm riding that C in the left hand. I might keep a little pulse with my pedal on, and then I can. on the white keys is going to sound good because it's the C major scale, but doing these little patterns of chords and getting these shapes together is nice because you cannot think about it while you sit and just kind of paint with the colors. Now if I add on my major 7th to C, that's a D minor 7 over C, E minor 7 over C, but also a C one, three, five, seven, nine. That's a C major nine. You can play an F major seven over C, which sounds really nice. Now you can move off the root and follow these chords, but this is just a nice exercise to sit and play. Now sometimes I'll take my finger and I'll ride through the G in the middle of my octave. So if I have my octave here, I can add a little movement because anywhere that you have an octave, your finger falls right on the five. It's nice. So when I have my If I want to get really fancy and whatever and wiggle my fingers a lot, I can do that, but it's just a lot of frosting on the same cake. I like to reach out with my pinky on top sometimes. It feels so nice to hit that major seven. One, seven, six, five, three. I'm trying to make my nice pretty music, keeping my C in the root. And I'm just taking static chord shapes and making them melodic by rolling my fingers and adding little notes between. So play around with that. Let's see how you do. Make some pretty music. Have some fun. I'll see you next time.